Alright, so here we are with Chloe Curtis from Cookies Crafts. She's going to show you how to make this purse out of felt and other things. Okay, go ahead, Chloe. Uh, well, what you need is different kinds of felt, like patterns, and four buttons, all the same size. And then I have these patterns that you can get from this book, Felt Crafts. Um, Show me the book again. Yes. Okay. And um, glitter glue. Okay. And felt glue. Okay. Some string and some needles. All right. Uh, but first, you take two pieces of felt. Um, any colors or patterns. And you're going to do a blanket stitch all the way around, but you're going to leave one um, one side open for the top. In this, also in the felt crafts book, uh, it shows you how to do these different um, stitches. You're going to need to do a blanket stitch, and on page seven, it shows you how to do it. Okay. So. First, you just need to cut the yarn at a good length. And it could be any color of glitter glue or yarn. Or, yeah. Then, you're going to start by... Go in that way. Up. Oops. Um, you're going to start going. Let's go. Um, lining it. Then you're going to go up and pull it all the way through. And at the very end, make a little knot. Okay. First, you're going to do it about this part from that knot. You're going to go down and pull until your loop is about this big. Then you're going to take this and you're going to put it in like this, pull it all the way, and then tighten. And then just keep repeating that. So, down. Alright, so we're continuing the, this, what, what was the name of the stitch? The blanket stitch. Blanket stitch, okay. And through the loop. Through the loop. We'll show you a couple more stitches and then we'll pick up where Cookie's finished all the sewing. Yeah? Yeah? And when you're doing it, the, fr the, the loop that you just did will come a little loose, but once you tighten the one you finished, you're working on, it will be The one tight before it will be tight? Yeah. That's good. Alright, so that's four blanket stitches. Chloe will finish the remaining stitches and we'll catch her up after she's um, finished this part. Alright, so you've completed the stitching around the outside, right? Okay. 
So what's next? Next you're going to take your patterns and you're going to take your other pieces of felt and you're just going to put them on in a corner. You're going to cut a little square around and then cut a circle around it. We'll cut it, chase it, and then you're going to glue it on. So let me, I'll start. It doesn't matter what patterns you are, have. It could be just single colors. But I like doing um, different patterns. But I was working here. Yeah. So that's one, and then you're going to use different uh, fabrics for the others? I'm going to take my fab, uh, my felt go, and I'm going to put it on the back. You're going to put it on, and I like overlapping them, and you're going to let it dry. Okay. It takes about like 20 minutes. Alright. So while that one's drying, I'll get to the next one. And like, there's different sizes. I got owl ones because my brother likes owls, so hmm. I would need, pro I'd probably get more and, and I make him one that, of owls. I see ladybugs also because you like ladybugs, right? And my mom loves um, butterflies. This one, um, I got uh, it's blotches of paint. Because I like using paint, so I got that one. That's the one that's down here, right? Splotches of paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the one cool. that I just did. Oh, I see. That's that one there. Alright, some more glue. And you can put them on anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Wherever you want to. Oh, you like to overlap them like that. I see. Cool. All right, so we'll do a few more of those and we'll see what it looks like after. All right, so this is all of the little cutout felt pieces overlapped. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to do with all the blank white space around it? Well, first I'm going to take this glitter glue. And I have pink. And... First, I'm going to put a little dot in hollow on. Oh. And you don't want too much, otherwise it'll take a long time to dry. But if you put just a little bit, it'll take like 10 minutes to dry. And um, you see how it's like that? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go like this, like this, and like this. So you can do it around all of them or no? Just the outside ones? Just around the outside. Oh, okay. And then in the blank, I'm going to do like swirls and cool designs. After it, where all the glitter glue is drying, I'm going to show you guys how to make the handles for the purse.
and you can get glitter glue at craft stores and all this stuff at any craft store. Okay. Alright, so that's putting on the glitter glue. We'll mm -hmm. catch back up with you when you've got all the glitter glue on there. So you've made the uh, glitter glue around all of the um, cutouts and then swirls of glitter around the edges. We have to let this dry and then you'll show us how to do the um, handle of the purse.